going to be instances. That just allows us to do this. We we'll want that function, because we can always get rid of that later, but we can't add it later. So if it's something that I might want to be able to affect each one, I'll try to make them instances. So what I'm gonna do is put a displace modifier on here. And right now that does nothing. And what I'm gonna use is one of the parametric gradients in the texture mapping tools. So we really don't cover texture mapping or rendering in here, but this is actually kind of usable. Uh, I think my, yeah, it's set to V-Ray. There we go. So what I'm going to do is go over here to get material. And I'm going to use a gradient ramp. And I'm going to drag that into here to map and do instance. So now if I increase the strength of my displacement to, let's do 100 feet. And I'm actually going to apply it to the material also so you can, I'm going to make a material and just apply it so we can see how it's affecting it. So the area that's white is the maximum and the area that's black is least affected. And then everything else in between sort of works accordingly. And there's decay, which I don't really use that much. But just to sort of illustrate this a little better, I'm going to change this to, instead of linear, I'll go with, say, box. And you can see how now, with this gradient, with the graphic, we're starting to affect geometry. And if it's not the effect I want right now, maybe I can, I can just invert it. So now I flipped it. I'm making black the strength. And numbers-wise, we know that black is 100. We can set it to 50. We can, that's a scale we set in the displacement modifier. Or we can go to radial. So it's actually a really interesting way to affect geometry in a sort of global way without modeling it. This graphic is going to be a lot, it's going to be an easy, there's, it's easy to control the smoothness of this. So you can affect the geometry, how it's working. All here, you've built a sort of visual interface for affecting geometry. So that's what the displace modifier lets us do. And you can also use bitmaps. So just to go over that real quick. But while that's loading, we'll look at a couple of ones. So it's kind of interesting to go through the different gradient methods and understand what they do. Spiral. That's based on the normals of the geometry. So let's use a bitmap. Just make a new one. I'm going to make it square.
You can actually do a PSD. Max takes it just fine. So we'll bring that in here. Do bitmap. You can do individual layers or the whole thing. I'm just going to do the whole thing for now. So then in my displace, I can just drag that on. Put it map. Bitmap is if you want to select the bitmap directly. I'd rather do it through the material editor because it gives me a little more control. So you can see now that bitmap is driving how we deform this geometry. If you want to update it, Save it. It's already updated. 